Hello, this is Delmon. Thank you so much for watching my video. And I hope you have a very beautiful and amazing day. So here, uh, today I'm going to show you a very special monastery in the Lhasa city. The place here we call Poronga Monastery. So in the ancient times during the 2nd century, our 13th King Sanzangamba, he did a meditation in this monastery. And the current belief, the place here, we do the Sky Hero. Do you heard about the Sky Hero? Here in Tibet, Every place there is a special monastery where they do the sky burial. So once people died in uh, Tibet, we do the sky burial, which means that we cut our body small pieces and fit to the waters. So today I'm going to show you this place in Lhasa city. We call this place Poranga Monastery. Today is Monday, so this place they don't do the sky burial. Monday, Wednesday and Friday will take place in Sarah Monastery, one of the biggest monasteries in Gelugpa order. But Friday, Thursday will take place in this monastery. So today it's an empty place that I can take video for you. Once they do the body cuttings, we are forbidden to take the photos. Place here belongs to the city side where you can see the Lhasa city down there. And here is the place where there is a professional master will do the cutting of the bodies and fit to the wood. And the rest will be burned and ashes thrown in the river after one week his or her death. And this professional master will come from successive of the ordinary family. So it's a successive come from the village, town, in the city. And do you know what these people are doing? They are burning the yak dung. And with this yak dung, we put zamba. Zamba is from barley seeds. It's a powder from barley seeds, roasted. These peoples are coming from Lhasa city and they bring the zamba mixed with the yak butter and put all with this yak dung to give a food for those spiritual. In Buddhism, we call soul because once the people die, people leave this body and the spirituals are keep going for reincarnations. Between death to the reincarnation, the spirituals are keep around us. So we believe that once we burn this zamba food for them, they can eat this food and keep go to the reincarnations. They will not reborn to the hungry ghost. Due to just downwards of this place where we do the sky burial, we believe there are lots of spirituals around here. So here we do fittings to the spirituals. And today is very auspicious day in our local calendar, which is lunar calendar. So there are lots of people especially come to feed the spirituals to be reborn, better place. And lots of people also go to monastery to offer pure yak butter for the lamb. Because in Buddhism, we believe the darkness is the hell very hard to see the right way to be reborn. I'm so blessed that in their assembly hall I saw the meditation cave of Tsongkhapa Master. And here is the monastery's kitchen. Taking this chance, I'm going to show you what we're gonna to see around this monastery. It's really amazing to do a one day trek in this place. Come with me. Okay, here we can see the paintings of the minerals.
going, they're repairing of the monastery. There you can see the carpenters and the paintings of Tibet, which is really so colorful paintings. See how details he's going to be right here. The building here is the meditation cave of King Song Zengambu in the 7th century. So now it's going under repairing. in our home for three days to be five days we will invite monk to pray to him to reborn and after these three to five days then we put this body to the monastery and the monks they do the special prayers to this body and then cut small pieces and feed to the water so here the place is here but today we don't have bodies so i got opportunity to for you. Usually we are not allowed to take photos if it's with the body. 